Hello, Bill. Well, howdy, Talarel. What can I do for you? It's about Greta. Oh, no. What's up with her this time? She's possessed by a demon. Now you're getting carried away, boy. No, really. Actually by an angel, a fallen one. But uh, it comes down to the same thing. Can you help me? A demon? I mean, Greta's a few pages short of a complete Bible, but uh, a demon? Yes, and I need help with the exorcism. We need to grab Greta and take her to the ancient stone circle. Exorcism? That sounds dangerous. And you just can't go jailing Inquisition people? Don't that get you thrown in hell? They wish. And what if you're wrong? You got any evidence? Of course I can prove it. Look at all the crazy stuff she's spreading around. Look at this. For the protection of life and limb, I decree that no one is allowed to enter this mill. The risk of collapse is too great. Any infringement will be punished. Anyone reporting such an infringement shall be rewarded. Now, that don't sound all that crazy to me, boy. Sounds like Greta's everyday ordinary crazy to me. Nothing special there. If you can somehow prove your wild claims, I'll be happy to help. But we can't just run around doing exorcisms on every harpy that comes along. Where'd we be then? It's about Greta. Oh, no. What's up with her this time? She hasn't been herself lately. Well, nothing new there, boy. Oh, they can be reorganized. Why don't you put them together to make something really strange? So the new ticket now states, for the purposes of the municipal code, dustbins are a massive threat to the general public. Delinquents will be sentenced to grimaces and contortions in jail. Signed, McCallum. How extraordinary. This makes McCallum appear really quite mad. Oh, they can be reorganized. Why don't you put them together to make something really strange? So the new decree now states in the name of the Incarnate, I decree that playing children are to be captured immediately and thrown into the Holy Inquisition cells, that they may receive their just punishment. Every mortal sin must have its reward. Signed, Greta. How extraordinary. This makes Greta appear even more fanatical than she already is. Hello, Bill. Well, howdy, Talarel. What can I do for you? It's about Greta. Oh, no. What's up with her this time? I have proof that Greta is possessed. What if you're wrong? You got any evidence? Of course I can prove it. Look at the insane things she's coming up with. Look here. In the name of the Incarnate, I decree that playing children are to be captured immediately and thrown into the Holy Inquisition's cells that they may receive their just punishment. Every mortal sin must have its reward. Signed, Greta. Greta really has lost her mind. But why don't you go to McCallum? 
It's his job to maintain law and order around here. He, uh, he's indisposed. What? What do you mean, indisposed? He's gone mad from grief because Greta's been possessed by a demon. Another accusation. You got proof of this one too, boy? Of course I can prove it. For the purposes of the municipal code, dustbins are a massive threat to the general public. Delinquents will be sentenced to grimaces and contortions in jail. Signed, McCallum. Dustbins? So it hit him too. Completely nuts. That's why I locked him up. All right, I'll help you. But Greta has locked herself in her chambers. We gotta lure her out somehow. If you can do that, I'll grab her and take her to the Stone Circle. I'll be going then. Sharp as attack. I can't reach. Hmm, a holy bell. If Greta really is possessed, then the sound of the holder that. Sh How can that could. Hmm, a holder that could. Holy bell under that that cool. Here it says, as steeped in legend as the existence. Goodness me. And the symbol on the book's spine is the same as on one of the stones in the stone circle. It says here, and ultimately, every author avoids its clear definition, of which every practitioner takes a different view. Oh, dear. And it just keeps on like that. That definitely explains why Shon and Bartholomew have such totally different opinions. In an operation of intention, the fifth element thus represents the quintessence and thus both the ability to be able to perform this operation adequately as well as the proper authorization. And what does that mean? Well, you could see a ritual as an operation of intention. Really? She's right. A ritual is about achieving something. You have a plan that you want to implement. Uh-huh. And that's why the symbol in a ritual stands for both the authorization, the permission to do something, and the ability, the power to actually conduct it. And, uh, that means? It means that you need something that gives you the right to act in God's name on Earth. And that you need something that you can use to separate the demon from Greta. Some kind of tool. Happy hunting. Paradise Lost by John Milton Travel Memoirs of a Sentimental Dinosaur, Volume 24 Hey, it's stuck! I'm still chasing down the other volumes. Until then, it's an archive copy. A painting? 
I think that's the librarian, however, with a lot more hair than the original. The 13 and a half lives of the nameless. Don't touch that one. Some books are better left unread. A book about homunculuses. Homunculi. Whatever. The title is The Homunculus. A Talk about timing. Have a look in the book. Legenda Aurea by Jacobus de Varain. Sumerian Literature, an Introduction by Vince Clortho. Ars Avuncula Gratulationis, The Art of Greeting Uncles. Unfortunately, the pages are all stuck together. Yes, a mishap. Physics by Aristotle with 20 color plates. Phew, that's one thick book. Here it says, every material is classified by a passive and an active primal quality. The passive qualities are hot and cold. The active, wet and dry. The combination of passive and active qualities produces an element. Dry and cold produce earth. Dry and warm produce fire. Wet and warm produce air. Wet and cold produce water. Just as warm ascends and cold descends, the symbol for warm points up, while the symbol for cold points down. Hey, the symbols in the book are the same as those on the stones in the circle. It goes on. Our world is composed of the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire. Each of these four elements is assigned a precise location. At the center of the world lies earth, heavy and immobile, in its natural place. Around it lie the spheres of the four elements. Uh-huh. So four of the five symbols represent the four elements, fire, earth, water, and air. May I borrow this book? Then the other one stays here. And it's always a pleasure to see them come home again. Why would I want to do that? It won't work like that. Why would I want to do that? It won't work like that. <sighs> hmm. Great. Do you plan on spending the whole time blowing into it? Hmm. Probably not. Then I guess you'd have to think of something else. It won't work like that. Hmm. Aha! That seems to activate it. I'll take the soil with me for now. Hmm. Aha! That seems to activate it. I'll take the holy water with me for now. Mmm, alchemical fire from an alchemical creature. Good idea. Aha, the stone is permanently activated. Very good. Ah, 
the stone is permanently activated. That's the way it's supposed to work. Hello, Father Bartholomew. Uh, hello, Talarel. I have a ritual sequence. Look. Very good. The ritual schedule is complete. You've done extremely well, my son. Do you also have all the components needed for the ritual? Now I have everything we need for Greta's exorcism. And Bill will get Greta into the circle once I get her out of her chambers. And I already know how to get Greta out of her chambers. I just have to ring the bell in the tower. The ringing of the holy bell should drive her out of the church. Excellent, my son. Then get yourself up into the tower and ring that bell. I'll wait for you in the ritual circle. The steeple clock from the rear. It's not working. Aha! The ball's in the tube. Anselm won't be any help to me here. <laughs> 